Okay, a quickie lecture capture on our proc generic regulation. Constitutive, always on. Positive control stimulates gene expression, right? Turns it on. Something binds, DNA binding protein, turns genes on. In negative control, when something binds, it turns that gene off. Here are some little pictures to talk about that. So positive regulation over here, negative regulation over here. Again, our operon, promoter operator, gene, 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 promoter operator, gene, gene, gene. This is the operon. Same here, same here. In positive regulation, we see something binding Right, here's the binding DNA, right? Remember, this is the sequence, the double strand, the double strand. A protein binds to DNA, transcription goes on. In positive regulation, if nothing's there, if there's no activator, no transcription. In negative regulation, something binds, a DNA binding protein binds the operator, turns off. If you remove the repressor, it turns on. So binding equals off. Binding equals on. That's the big difference, positive and negative. For a generic negative regulation, remember, prokes. Yes, usually we're talking about prokes. If we have an inducer available and it inactivates the repressor, so it can't bind, no binding, then we get transcription, right? No binding turns it on. If we have an active repressor and it can bind to the operator, if the inducer activates it, then we get no transcription. If we have a generic positive regulation and we have the inducer activating an active factor and it binds, yes, we get transcription. If our factor is not active and it cannot bind, no transcription. Bind equals on. That's positive. So our generic structure of an operon, right, here we go, here's our operon, right, promoter, operator, gene, 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 usually a separate regulator gene with its own promoter, here's a regulator, another sequence, right, this is just double-stranded DNA, this is double-stranded DNA, this is almost always constitutive over here. The regulatory is constitutive, which means what? Always on. So we're always making this regulator protein, and if this regulator protein is a positive regulator, when it binds, we get transcription. If it's a negative regulator, when it binds, we don't get transcription. And so how an inducer or another molecule reacts with that guy tells you on or off, right, on or off of transcription, okay? And so we're going to spend next lecture capture talking about one of the examples of a negatively regulated um, operon, uh, the lactose operon or the lac operon. But for now, in this little short, sweet, punchy chunk, we are done. <laughs> And I know you just can't wait for the next lecture capture. So stay tuned, and we will get it. Thanks for listening.